Question 1. Infrared wave or transverse waves. Complete the sentence. In a transverse wave, the direction of oscillation is perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer by the wave. We have a diagram. Here is the particle. A particle is a medium which propagates the wave. This is the direction of the wave and the particle is going up and down. And this is the mean position which is the rest position if there was no energy. But in this case, when the energy comes in, the particle goes up, back to mean position, down, back to mean position, and it just repeats the cycle. This is called transverse wave. A student investigated how the color of a surface affects the rate at which the surface emits infrared radiation. Figure 1 shows some of the equipment used. 1.2. The student wrote the following hypothesis. The black colored flask will emit more infrared radiation than the silver colored flask during 10 minutes of cooling. Describe a method to test this hypothesis. First is to heat the water in the kettle. Number two, add an equal volume of hot water to each flask. Number three, insert a thermometer into each flask. Four, record the initial temperature of both flasks. Five, place an infrared IR detector near each flask. Six, the distance between the IR detector and the flask should be the same each time. Seven, record initial reading from IR detectors. Eight, you can now start the stopwatch. Nine, record the temperature after 10 minutes from both flasks. 10, calculate the change in temperatures during the 10 minutes. And finally, compare the results to test the hypothesis. Question 1.3. When will the flask emit infrared radiation at the greatest rate? Give a reason for your answer. During the first minute, during the fifth minute, and during the ninth minute. Well, it's going to be during the first minute. And the reason for this is at the greatest temperature difference between the hot water and the surrounding. Another student investigated the absorption of infrared radiation by different surface colors. The student filled four hollow metal cubes with cold water. Each cube was the same size but had a different surface color. The cubes were then placed the same distance from an infrared heater. After 10 minutes, the student measured the temperature increase of the water inside each cube. What was the dependent variable in this investigation? The temperature which changes after 10 minutes is the dependent variable. Question 1.5 the table shows the results. Give two conclusions that can be made from the results in table 1. The black surfaces absorbed more infrared than the white surface. Black surface here and the black surface, they absorb more infrared radiation. The matte surfaces absorb more infrared than the shiny surfaces of the same color. Shiny white, matte white. So the matte is more than the shiny one. Figure 2 shows one of the cubes. The cube is filled with water. The weight of the water exerts a pressure on the bottom of the cube. Which equation correctly links area, force and pressure? We know that uh, pressure equals force over area. So that's the equation that we'll be looking for and it's this one here. Question 1.7. The water pressure at the bottom of the cube is 1500 pascal the force of the water on the bottom of the cube so the pressure given is 1500 pascal and the area of the cube is 0 0.12 times 0 0.12 and that is 0 0.014 meter squared so that's the bottom area of the cube and we know that pressure is force over area find the force so making f the subject would then be f equals pressure times area and so we have 1500 times 0 0.014 and that will give 21.6 newtons so the answer would be 21.6 newtons